Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been, uh, we're going on the week four now. Um, past week four, since the sand leveling top dressing. And it's about time for me to mow. Um, since that time that I had did the first initial mow, after two weeks of sand leveling, I had mowed every day. Um, except for, uh, I think it was, I want to say Tuesday and Saturday. Or Wednesday and Saturday. Those were the two days I weren't able, wasn't able to mow. So I mowed every day to try to uh, increase the uh, the the growth and the grass to spread out. So I think it's done a fairly good job. It's very very fuzzy right now. Let me flip the camera and show you guys. So we're getting pretty full now. I, it's not quite ready for PGR just yet, um, but we're getting there. Uh, it's time for me to lay down my uh, granulars for the month of July. We're coming up close to the, the end of the month of June. It's going to be next week. So uh, I do put my furts down a week before the, uh, the beginning of the next following month. So that's what's going to be happening tonight after I mow. I'm going to lay down my 14714, um, Carbon Pro G 14714. And if I got time, I may do Turfplex Nutrizolve. And then water it all in with RGS and Humic 12 uh, the next following morning. I'm debating on whether to do that or perhaps just um, water RGS and Humic 12 tonight and then come back tomorrow morning and spray with Triflectus Nutrizol and just let it dry uh, for, the, for the whole day. Temperatures have been extremely hot now. We're into the hundreds. We're like between 98 to 99. Been getting quite a few uh, burn spots in the lawn. So I've been watering at night and they say do not do that but I actually do it um, given how hot it is in Texas I don't believe um, fungus will be an issue because by the time we get to noon or around one or two everything's pretty much just bone dry and by the time you get to like 5 p.m. everything's like burnt to a crisp so let me show you a section right here where I had these flags um, stabbed in you notice that this is a dry spot here. I watered this heavily last night. I just basically stuck the hose um, and let it run low so that it could just uh, pull water could just build up right there. Looks like it hasn't really done much, but uh, I'll be probably doing it again soon. If I do the RGS and Humic 12 tonight, um, then it'll all be watered in for me. Fourth of July is coming up next week, so it's that time. It's time to get everything dominating and everything look good. Uh, the center line, I've been trying to switch up on stripes now. I'm doing uh, double wide stripes. And uh, I'll try to get that on the video to, to see if, how it looks for you guys. But uh, let's, I don't want to waste any time. I want to go ahead and mow some of the sedges I've been spraying. I bought some uh, over-the-counter stuff at Home Depot, which is the Ortho Nut Sedge Killer. Uh, it's got a different ingredient than what Certainty does. And it appears to be doing pretty well uh, I've just been spot spraying here and there uh, still missed some spots but if you look at it it, it works at, like within two days so it's actually doing a pretty good job a lot faster than what certainty could do but like I said uh, I definitely hate spot spraying and I wish there was just something that I could use that could just um, you know do a blanket spray without affecting the entire lawn and maybe I just need to go ahead and just blanket spray with certainty and just use a, a low amount of surfactant. So, but yeah, that's what's been going on. Check this out. You see how the sedges are all drying up. Yeah, this was just all sprayed yesterday with the ortho nut sedge killer. But let's go ahead and mow. And then let's go ahead and fertilize.
Alrighty, it is June 30th. It's a Sunday, it's the last day of June. So time for me to do another mow again. And then July 4th is coming up. So I'm gonna need to go ahead and get this in tip top shape. I did mention in previously that I wanted to get everything nice and neat and good looking by 4th of July. So let's see if I can do it. Let's see if we're gonna get there or not. Um, plan is I'm gonna mow and then I need to lay down my third application of Delta Guard G. I'm gonna water that in with a simple lawn solutions, uh, darker green iron. So I'm trying something else different, right? I told you guys in last year that uh, I wasn't having too much uh, success with the uh, feature. So gonna give a uh, uh, simple lawn solutions, uh, darker green iron, just to see if I get any nice dark green results uh, for the 4th of July. Let's uh, take a look at the lawn real quick before I do the mow. So Friday evening after the mow, I laid down my 14714 Carbon Pro G, and then I also uh, watered that all in with RGS and Humic 12. So Turf Pleck and Nutrizol hasn't been laid down yet. I may do that later this evening uh, when the sun sets, or I may do it tomorrow. And hopefully uh, we'll get some nice dark green color uh, just in time for July 4th. And things are gonna look in tip top shape. I am not completely filled in like how I expected. I still have a few bare spots that still need to be filled in. So I don't think we're gonna make it by July 4th, but heck, it's pretty close, I would say. So um, let's take a look at this spot over here. Yeah, as I mentioned previously, I don't anticipate this one being filled in by July 4th. So still gonna be waiting on that. Uh, oh, okay. Those are Carbon Pro G uh, pellets uh, or granules. I was looking, I was like, how is this Carbon Knife PN coming up? But no, that's Carbon Pro G. But yeah, I'm not going to get the mo. I'm not going to video this mo since uh, you've guys seen several videos of it. But I did start doing the double white stripes in the center lawn here. It's not uh, distinctly showing yet, but I'm going to keep uh, burning them in. And hopefully uh, it'll look really nice. But uh, let's go ahead and get the mow going, and then I'll get back to you guys. Alrighty. Just got done with the mow. Let's take a look at the stripes, see if you guys can see it. Sun is shining on it pretty nicely. What do you guys think? Double wide. I think it looks nice. Definitely gives it more distinction. Much, much, much better than the single stripes, in my opinion. I think I'm going to start doing this for the rest of the season. Yeah, I like how that looks. Let's come over here. I still did single stripes over here. That's coming in kind of nicely, too. Things are starting to stand out. I'm getting happy. This one's hard to see. The sun's not shining correctly on this one. Can't capture it with the sun angle. But look at that. That's picture worthy right there, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. You prefer the single stripes or you prefer the double stripes? I think for me right now, I prefer the double stripes. Oh man, let me show you guys how much grass I took off. Now let me remind you, I cut Friday evening and this is Sunday morning. It hasn't even been 48 hours yet. And I took off a lot of grass. The grass is growing very, very, very rapidly now in this heat. All right, let me go show you the, the tractor that's holding the grass clippings. Check that out. That's like 36 hours. I mowed 36 hours ago. And this is how much grass I took off. Grass is going really fast. I need to lay down PGR, but I just, I'm not quite ready yet. Still not filled in the way I want it. There's still some spots that I want the grass to fill in first before uh, I start halting the uh, the growth. I mean, the, don't get me wrong, the grass will still spread, but I just want it to 
grow naturally first before I hold off on the, you know, regulator. See, this area by the curve is where I want it to grow the most. And by the mailbox here, see, still a little bare here. But with this heat and all this watering I've been giving in the evening, it should help. This, start, this spot's starting to fill up really well. So we're getting there. Well, let me know what you guys think. I mean, uh, is, it, is it July 4th ready? We're almost there. Only a few days away from July 4th, Independence Day. I think we're, I think we're close to dominating now. Man, those stripes are really, really standing out. I'm gonna take a picture of this. I think the uh, RGS and the Humic 12 has been helping out. I did uh, lay that down in the soil on Friday and I was not home yesterday, so I wasn't able to uh, observe to, uh, to see if there's any uh, heat stress spots. But from as far as I can tell, it looks like there really isn't. So that RGS and Humic 12, is doing a pretty good job holding on that heat stress, preventing uh, the grass from from uh, getting crispy. And I've been watering at night, which is not recommended, but given the 100 degree temperatures we get, I'm taking a risk doing it, and I have not seen any uh, bad effects from it. So I think it's okay. Usually uh, you would expect fungus from watering in the evening, but in my case, I did lay down Pillar SC uh, when I did the aeration. So most likely it's taking care of uh, any, fun uh, any potential fungus that could grow. So I think we're okay there, at least for the time being. We don't know about the future, but at least from what I can tell you right now, we're okay watering in the evening. And I'm about to water again, because uh, I'm gonna lay down Delta Card G. This is going to be the third application. Like I said, I'm laying two pounds per thousand every seven days. So now it's time to do the third app. So far, I do not see any Bermuda mite damage. So that's a good thing. Maybe Delta Guard G is doing its job. Only time will tell um, after I lay the fourth application and observe the following weeks and months after to see if the, the Bermuda mites are back. And you guys already know, I told you, if it doesn't work, I'm going with Contos. And then, let me show you uh, the Simple Lawn Solutions Dark Green. I'm going to lay down uh, this one here, Liquid Iron, Darker Green. I'm laying this one at uh, 10 ounces per thousand. The directions on this is kind of confusing. They assume that you have a hose and sprayer like the ortho dial that where you can adjust the dial to like 3 ounces. Um, I'm using the hose and sprayer that came with my... Uh, Humic 12 and Air 8 that I used in the fall. So it's gonna be this thing here. So basically I'm just gonna load 10 ounces per thousand and this bottle can spray out to 2000 square feet. So I'm gonna put 20 ounces in this bottle and spray 2000 square feet and repeat. Um, and I don't know if it needs to be watered in or not. It doesn't say so. I'm used to uh, foliar applying the iron onto the grass, but um, it seems like this, if you're using the hose in sprayer, this is gonna get watered in. So first thing to do is uh, lay down the Delta Guard G and then water that in when, by applying this as well. So let's get going.
tired, tired. It's 12.30, past noon now. Spend more time than I anticipated. Get everything watered in. Hand watering does take some time, uh, especially when it's 6,000 square foot. And I do, I did have one hose running, kind of soaking up one hot spot. Uh, let me show you the hot spot. Let me flip the camera. So this was a troublesome area that I recognized from last season. And it's basically, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but that spot was developing uh, heat stress. It looked very dry um, today. So I basically just set, let my hose sit right here with no end or, you know, I mean, like just open end and then just let the water run. And I let it run for several minutes, probably like 15, 20 minutes to hopefully get that uh, spot soaked up with water. Liquid iron is watered in. I am not sure if you even need to water it in, honestly. Uh, the instructions aren't very clear. With simple lawn solutions basically just says to spray the yard evenly uh, at a particular rate which uh, I don't know I kind of did but I also watered it in I needed to water in the Delta Guard G so uh, I don't know that affected how the liquid iron was applied so we'll just have to wait and see in a few days uh, like I said July 4th is coming up so let's see if this uh, gets darker green than it is now. I actually love the color right now. I don't have any complaints about it. It'd just be nice if it could be even darker, but not, necess not necessary has to be, but it'd be nice. Um, I've never gave my wholehearted review on the Lebanon Turf uh, fertilizer, but so far I can say uh, I really love it. The color that it brings out on the turf is second to none. I mean, and also the pro size. So it's a premium fertilizer. I mean, you're looking at around like 85 bucks a bag, but um, look at the look at the stripes you can pull off of it and look at the color. This is no filter guys. This is the true color of the grass. And keep in mind, this is common Bermuda. This ain't, this is not even TIFF Turf, TIFF Y419, Toma 31. This is common Bermuda. And this is what the fertilizer can do for you. So, I'm very impressed, very, very, very impressed with the product. I'll probably do another mow on Tuesday and Wednesday, day before July 4th. I will not be home July 4th, uh, unfortunately. I'm gonna be over at a friend's house celebrating, but I will uh, shoot some footage maybe July 4th morning just to see how everything looks. And hopefully we're dominating by that day. Um, I have not edged yet, still waiting for grass to fill in, especially down on that side by the street. Um, I may edge Wednesday, day before July 4th, just to get everything clean and nice and tidy. But overall, guys, the, the color looks amazing. This is really, really good stuff. Very, very satisfied with the way the lawn is turning out. Let me do a little shot here going across from the front side. This is what you would see when you're driving by the house. Coming up to this side here. See the single stripes right there. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, like I said, I'll do another mow on Tuesday. Uh, I'm pretty sure the grass will be grown by then. And let's give it a few days and see if this liquid nitrogen does anything. I did not apply Turfplex and Nutrizolve, so I don't know. I'm super tired. The heat's got to me. I started around 8.30, I believe, and it's 12.30. Very, very tired. I think I'm going to call it a day. If I have some energy this evening, I might come back out and do Turfplex and Nutrizolve. But other than that, I'll just have to wait till tomorrow probably because I am very, very tired. This heat has got me pooped. But yeah, stay tuned guys, I'll get, get you guys posted on the results.